The beef industry has such a large impact on our environment today. Cattle play a huge role in pollution around the world, contributing between 7 to 18% of global methane emissions. They are also one of the main contributors to soil erosion around the world. When cattle waste isn't treated properly, it can lead to polluted sources of water, which is extremely harmful to the environment. The total land area occupied by pasture space for cattle is equivalent to 26% of open land. The ratio of liters of water needed to raise a kilogram of beef is 15,415, which is a massive amount of water, which creates a huge impact on the water footprint. Agriculture accounts for 24% of the greenhouse gases produced by humans. We've recently lost upon millions and millions of acres in the last century to clear farmland for animals to inhabit um, and graze, as well as our industrial processing areas. Not only do we destroy the, glass, the grasslands, but then we pollute the areas with pesticides and fertilizers. Manure is one of the biggest issues of beef production. Methane, ammonia, and carbon dioxide are all greenhouse gases that are released from cow manure as it decomposes. Antibiotics, bacteria, and per pesticides and fertilizers are, are all in it as well. All these materials in manure can be transported and spread when there is flooding and water runoff near pastures. This is the process of eutrophication. Not only do these chemical gases wreak havoc on the original site, but they are also hard to contain and can easily pollute other areas. There is a drastic difference in price of cattle compared to bison. It costs about $500 to $1,000 to raise and keep cattle and costs $1.25 to $2 a day to feed each cow. The price to feed bison is substantially lower considering they're free roaming animals who eat grass and sedges. Yellowstone brings in about 4 million people per year since 2015, expanding the ecotourism of Montana and spreading love and appreciation for nature. When asked in 2016, most people visiting Montana cited Yellowstone and other national parks as the main driving force behind each visit. In 2016, the ecotourism in Montana directly supported 4.78 billion in economic activity and more than 52,000 jobs. In Northeast Montana, as of 2012, 72% of land is farmland. Knowing the price and damage of raising cattle, switching to raising bison could be a profitable solution for changing this farmland to something better for the environment. A survey in 2015 by ITRR, 81% of people said that they strongly agreed with the statement that they enjoy viewing wildlife in natural settings. However, on 22% of people in this survey agreed that bison viewing was easy. Bison are also part of the economy of Colorado with prairie bison reserves like the ones owned by the Southern Plains Land Trust. These preserves cover around 32,000 acres of land. Outdoor recreation, including seeing these grasslands, create about half a million jobs and produces $62 billion for the state. Bison are a popular symbol in more states such as Kansas and Oklahoma and Wyoming, making this animal an important staple for the economy of these places. Restoring bison to their once great numbers and reducing cattle, their largest competitor, would be extremely beneficial. There are many benefits of switching to bison as a food source rather than cows. One main benefit is the growth of grasslands. Bison trample less and have a less destructive diet that leads to less land erosion. Also, croplands turn back into grasslands because bison do not require these lands to live. Moreover, bison lead to increased biodiversity in their ecosystem. Bison eat more common and resilient perennial grasses, while cows eat rarer types of plant life that are vital to ecosystems as pollinators. Therefore, bison put much less stress on their habitat while increasing biodiversity. In the late 1800s, bison were hunted by the millions for sport and for profit, and by doing so, it deprived the natives and just the U.S. in general of a valuable resource and a keystone species. Many native tribes have seen bison as a symbol of strength and unity, and reintroduction of bison on tribal lands would help heal the spirits of both the natives and the bisons. The natives coexisted with bison for many years and they provided the natives with food, shelter, clothing, and much more. It's not a surprise the natives have, have such strong connection with the bison. As mentioned before, bison are a keystone species to many ecosystems. For example, their thick fur traps seeds into their coat and they can be distributed as they roam long distances. Their urine and stool act as fertilizer because their urine contains a high amount of nitrogen and seeds can also be dispersed by the stool. 
Another example is that they primarily eat grasses, which puts more pressure on the grass species. This allows other plant species to coexist in the habitat. Overall, bison are more efficient and promote greater biodiversity than cows, and it would only benefit everyone if we reintroduce them back into the U.S.